of men going round taking names. And he decides who to free and who to blame. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and joining me now in Everybody studio is Anthony Gucciardi from Natural Society and Dr. Group. And we want to take some of your calls uh, where you can ask Dr. Group questions. Uh, that number is going to be 800-259-9231. Again, that's 800-259-9231. That'll be questions for Dr. Group. And before we get to those uh, calls, I just want to point out as you were we're talking uh, before the break, uh, during the break, rather, about what's going on with Monsanto. There was an article a couple of days ago on uh, Infowars.com. Which of your foods are sprayed with Roundup just three days before harvest? Uh, an amazing, it's pretty much amazing. When you look at this, Anthony, it's pretty much everything that is a staple food. Wheat, corn, <laughs> pretty much everything is on that list. And at the same time, we now have Monsanto pushing back against the findings from the World Health Organization uh, that came out and said, yeah, we think glyphosate, which is Roundup, uh, we think that it is carcinogenic, carcinogenic and uh, now Monsanto is hiring a research firm to uh, give them the results that they want. Right, and they also bought the bee research firm after it was found out that their herbicides were killing the bees. Yeah. Right, so it's, it's pretty easy to see how they work. Well, that's global warming. There was just an article about that the other day. It's, forget the, the pesticides, it's now global warming that's going on. Right, right, of course, <laughs> even though there's studies over and over again. Yeah. And this, this segment, I'd like to cover a few things. I'd like to cover how we actually could get a new GMO regulation plan in place, and the White House is saying they might do it. The GMO pigs that be, could be coming to your dinner table. Mm. How living in nature can boost your income up to $20,000, according to this study, and make you feel seven years younger. We could talk about the Gardasil vaccine and a bunch of different stuff. But first, before I segue into Dr. Group and we start taking your calls and all that, I want to talk about a piece that's really important, and that's one that a lot of people missed, and that's called Activism Works White House Announces New GMO Regulation Plan. I wrote this a few days ago. And what's happened now is the White House has announced in a memorandum that we, they say, we understand people want GMO labeling. We promise we're actually going to do something about it. Now, of course, I don't necessarily believe them, but this is good news because it shows that they're actually being forced to answer to us. Mm -hmm. And they're being forced to say, this is what they, they, they say in this memorandum, that so many people, millions, of, millions and millions of citizens have voiced concern about it that they're looking into an independent third party group to verify the scientific integrity and safety of GMOs and look into GMO labeling plans nationwide. Ah, oh, that'd be great. And you, but you look at the flip side of that and there's that Monsanto Protection Act that's been reintroduced by Mike Pompeo mm -hmm. and that would ban GMO labeling in the United States. And we're gonna talk about that too. And what of course, that you've mean. also got the treaties, the Transatlantic Trans-Pacific Partnership treaties, which could make this moot. You know, it could just take this away with one stroke. So they could come out and say, yeah, you know, we did this for you guys. We heard you. We enacted this. But now we've got the treaty right. that takes it away. And the bottom so have line to be is vigilant everywhere. Yeah, you can't rely on the government. And that's why, Dr. Group, I want to segue into some of the things we can do for ourselves and also take everybody's calls because at the end of the day, you cannot rely on the government to protect you. No, I mean, it, my solution for that is just don't purchase anything that has the toxic compounds in it and continue the activism and continue to fight against the GMOs. You know, that is good that the government is announcing that. You know, Obama came out and said that uh, one of the things if he was elected is he was going to require GMO labeling. And... You know, with March Against Monsanto, the Monsanto Video Revolt, we've done a lot of good also. I mean, now they have non-GMO verified. But like you said, I mean, who knows? There's a, there's a big fight going on right now between the government, the pharmaceutical companies, the vaccine issues, the GMO issues. My solution is just going back to nature, really, and, and looking and educating people and determining let me know, I mean, is this food toxic I'm about to feed to my child or I'm about to put in my mouth? I mean, it really goes back to simplicity and the basics and things and just understanding more about your body and understanding about food and avoiding those things. I mean, now people are not buying as much chemicals. People are not, they're switching over to natural things. And as you can see with the big companies, the chemical companies, they're all racing to come out with organic products and natural products right now because of the demand out there from the general consumer. So in one area, we're making a lot of progress. And then in the other area, we're getting a lot of opposition. But I don't think the opposition is to the point where it's actually taking over 
the consumer because when it what they know it boils down to things. yeah the they consumer. know people there's no question that people want. even mcdonald's is out there saying we're going to make our stuff healthier we're going to get rid of gmos and everything but in most cases it's just a head fake you're talking about non-gmo verified i mean that doesn't mean that they can't put pesticides on it it just means that the pesticides wouldn't be gmo pesticides right so it's a bit of a yeah. head fake from the grocery industry just and like we see that coming from from uh, McDonald's, and now this bill here might be just a head fake from the political industry, okay? So we have to watch out for our own food. Yeah, there are a lot of head fakes out there. Just look at the BPA baby bottle head fake. They made everybody focus on baby bottles, yet they're still lining every single can and milk carton and everything else with yeah. BPA. So there, there is a lot of truth to that. The good news is, though, that organic is booming. And Monsanto lost hundred plus million dollars in the fourth quarter last year. Monsanto's, I mean, at McDonald's, see, I mix them up. They're basically the same thing. McDonald's is closing seven hundred stores in the United States, and they're losing so much money every month they've stopped reporting on it. Okay, <laughs> and it just goes to show the opposition against GMOs is real. The only people standing up for GMOs are the ones that are basically being paid off on it. Like Hillary Clinton says that Monsanto's GMOs are great, and obviously she's going to support them. And it goes back to not trusting things like the White House memorandum saying that they're going to look into a new GMO regulation plan. But it is a powerful message. And I, we do have the clip ready, I believe, where Obama promised in 2007 that he was going to label GMOs. Just so everyone's clear, this is what's going on. These are the lies that get people elected because they know oh, yeah. the public is for this. So maybe we could play that clip. He's going to be transparent, too. <laughs> Here's what I'll do as president. I'll immediately implement country of origin labeling because Americans should know where their food comes from. We'll let folks know whether their food has been genetically modified because Americans should know what they're buying. We'll let folks know whether their food has been genetically modified because Americans should know what they're buying. We agree. Now is the time to label genetically modified foods because Americans have a right to know what they're buying. And of course, he didn't keep that promise. You notice he says, immediately, we'll enact GMO labeling. And everyone's like, yeah, let's do it. Yay, we love you. Wait a minute. It's 2015. That was in 2007, <laughs> right? I'm still waiting for him to be honest and transparent. Yeah, where, where is it? And there's been a letter written by just labelit.org. I think we have it over here somewhere. It basically just says, Obama, you promised to label GMOs in 2007. Everyone's seen the video. We know you said it. Where is it? Mm -hmm. And then he says... Oh, well, you know, the White House, we put out this memorandum and it's, 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 some, we're going to work on this. No, no, no. We weren't going to work on it in 2007. We were going to do it. Mm -hmm. That just shows, though, the manipulation. They know what people want. 90 plus percent want labeling.